On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three grand shacks, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, good morning, CNS. Today is Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021, and it is a D day. I'm Abby Files. And I'm Sam Klein. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're in a scary basement, but, you know, it's whatever. <clears throat> students, if you want to say that you're thankful for... Wait. Students, if you want to say what you're thankful for in the yearbook, check your school email for the quick form to send in. The deadline to submit is Thanksgiving Day. And for seniors only, That's if you us. haven't sent in a picture of you and your pet yet, please email a high-quality photo to cnsyearbook1 at gmail.com with pet in the subject line. Because of all of the amazing photos turned in so far, yesterday's deadline to submit your pet pics has been extended to today. Wow. So, that's good. I haven't sent mine in. Maybe because I don't have pets. <clears throat> The SUNY College of Environmental Science and Forestry is hosting an exploration day for students and their families on Saturday, December 4th. Find out what ESF is all about. Registration information can be found on the Career Center website. And decorate your Crocs Woo! with the new CNS Croc Charms. Woo! I'm pretty sure those are called gibbets. <laughs> mm, gibbets. Your CNS Croc gibbets. <laughs> They're on sale in the Star Shop for $5, and they make a great gift. Um... Oh, hold up the flag. Hold up the flag. Hold up the flag. Hold up the flag. <laughs> hold up. Hold down. Can you see it? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Do a twirl for us, Sam. Do a twirl. Hold on, I dropped it. Okay. Show your school spirit and support the Boys Lacrosse Booster Club by purchasing a North Star Nations flag. These stunning double-sided 3 by 5 foot flags are made with high quality material and are the perfect way to show your support for our school, especially for our football teams this Saturday. They will also make an awesome holiday gift. Flags will be sold in the stadium parking lot before the game this weekend and will be in the star shop after break. Do one more twirl. That's it, yep. The theme for this week's Positivity Project is gratitude, which is feeling and expressing thankfulness. Having gratitude means you recognize and understand that there are good things happening in the world, in your life and around you. You express appreciation for those things. And once again, Sam, I am so thankful for you. Abby, I'm just, I'm so, so <laughs> flattered. This week's challenge is to find someone who needs help and offer it to them. Reflect on how you feel after being helpful. Notice the gratitude in others when they receive the help they need. Remember, gratitude Gratitude can come in many ways. A smile, a thank you, a gift, a note, a changed attitude. Be on the lookout for ways you can show gratitude towards others. <clears throat> Today is the last day to purchase your feathers for the Paya teacher in the fight. Ooh, whoa. <clears throat> Today is the last day to purchase your feathers for the Paya teacher in the face fundraiser hosted by the principal's cabinet. Feathers are $1 and can be purchased during any lunch block in the student center lo located in Cafe One. The 10 turkeys to buy feathers for include Mr. Seichen, Miss Merlin, Mr. Hill, Mr. Sir, what is that one? Who is it? Okay. Mr. Segru, Mr. Babakin, Miss Palma Solano, Mr. Harbinger, Harbinger Mr. Harbold, <laughs> Mr. Bro Broughton, <laughs> and your principal, Miss Sullivan. Here's the kicker for any exi existing confusion. Once you've purchased a feather, your name gets put into a raffle for the teacher you purchased a feather for and can be drawn for you to pie that teacher in the face yourself. The teacher with the most feathers and the winner of the raffle of that teacher will be announced today after school and the pieing will be shown next Monday after the holiday break. Buy those feathers and see a teacher get pied in the face and support the principal's cabinet. And now, here's sports. The North Stars football team pulled off an amazing win against Corning Painted Post last Saturday night for their fourth straight regional championship. Touchdowns were scored by Josh Kowala, Jackson Brzezbonski, and Testa. The North Stars advanced to the state se semifinals and they took to, to look to take on the winners of Bennett and Mick Jensen, who played tonight due to COVID protocols. The state se semi is Saturday at Michael J. Bregman Stadium. Pop out congratulations to varsity bowling team win yesterday over at Swigo. Kathan Arts rolled the team high of 465. Good luck against Auburn today. That's all for sports. Back over to you. 
For lunch today, there will be sausage gravy over biscuits, home fries, fruit juice, and the freshest fruit. That's a lot of stuff to put sausage gravy over. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to recoup after that one. That's all for today. From the CNS Morning Show, I'm Sam Klein. And I'm Abby Files. Have a great break and happy Thanksgiving, everybody.